Hello everybody, this is uh, Army Boy 80 and I am uh, in Caney Valley. Um, I'm going to show you a rundown of my uh, Storm Shield Defense number 10 before I actually run it. Um, up here there's really nothing. Um, jump pads, stuff, lobber screens. Um, I'll walk you through everything before I actually run it. It'll be two separate videos. Now, you wonder why launchers are there. You'll see here in a second. I have had husks spawn up here. A matter of fact, they broke walls and stuff over here. So, I got tire traps. And I got these walls here. I could knock out. Um, but they'll spawn down here a lot. So got ceiling fields down here to take out some. I got darts, so they're taking damage. And I actually did have a another step right here. And after during the ninth one, uh Storm Shield Defense, they spawned right here. So it actually knocked that out. So I changed it. It was three rows but they still have access to the three rows but this is my little kill tunnel um, I have a ton of zappers up here and if I would have known paid it more attention and they only kill one husk at a time I would have put either gas traps or ceiling fields up there or mixed it up like every other one um, but since I already have them up here that's a lot of material I'm just gonna leave them um, I did have a defender up here on the ninth one on this back side but I'm not going to do it right now um, I think all these traps are good this is just getting up to the amplifier on one side uh, they probably won't even make it here so um, if they do it'll be a smasher which I have a whole bunch of knock traps some more ceiling gas but this is my favorite little tunnel right here so this is kind of one of those things where if they get up here they're going down into a little kill pit and I will be right here shooting them so I, I never said I'm not gonna shoot so I'm gonna shoot um, and this side I have a bunch more traps this this one is pretty self-sufficient I don't really need to be at it um, there's a lot of traps they're gonna get knocked everywhere and and just killed um, over here on a we've got knocks so they don't break out those walls I have uh, sandwich walls going um, this right here I, if they go down that that's fine uh, I'm not too worried about it got some ceiling fields um, because they spawn up here um, I got this little little timeout rooms coming down if they decide to come down um, they'll be pushed off the cliff which goes to more traps um, this side which they did come down this side a lot the last time uh, got timeout rooms come down um, lots of damage lots of damage um, there's gonna be a lot of kill waves on here and I kind of blocked all that off um, that was building purposes I could remove it all but nah then we got another timeout room more damage and then when they actually fall down um, there ain't much down here uh, I figured I'd wait until I I start it and uh, I'm the last time they've actually the last two times they've been spawning on the other side but if they come down here I got kill rooms um, knocks knocks just damage traps and if I would have known that these grill traps actually caught propane on fire I would have never even used them I switched up to uh, spike traps which I went through after I upgraded mine and replaced a lot of them some of them I left 
they were epics uh, level 71 or something but they'll, they'll do sufficient um, some of the stuff I forgot to upgrade because I put traps down can see and I do have the heavy base so that's gonna help out a lot um, and I'm gonna have rocket launchers just in case um, here's some more timeout rooms another alleyway where it's just a lot of kill traps and then this is where they spawn got a ton of just damaging traps here um, after the ninth one I did realize about the ceiling zappers and they don't really have much durability so I put gas traps up here um, more timeout rooms to actually get up to the amplifier and then once they get launched they're gonna take damage um, and then I put like a little kill kill room down there um, more kill traps um, that's basically that one uh, there was one more section to go in they do go in this one too I have some timeout rooms and I actually ran out of pieces so um, I didn't get to finish this I was just gonna make it a little single tunnel and then a timeout room but since I ran out of pieces um, oh, yeah I just can't really do that but this one is gonna be pretty tough the ninth one um, I wasn't doing videos at that point in time and I know it was a pain this backside if they get over here then they'll just get knocked around um, but I block this one off with the sandwich wall like too deep and they don't ever go through that um, they do go through this a lot um, so I pretty much set up a bunch of kill traps smashers are the ones that get down further um, those are the ones I'm worried about and I have a bunch of zappers I should have actually beat half of those down and put different traps up but I got some out here on the spawn um, I haven't repaired everything and all of that from the last time I really haven't done too much after the last time some of these traps will wear out some of them I've already done replaced because I did do a walkthrough on it um, not running it but just a bunch of traps bunch of material um, flingers if they throw stuff then they're just gonna be launching the people off um, there's parts that I was attacked from before so I left all that like that right there I don't think they're gonna spawn um, up here but they have um, so I, I left that just in case this one here uh, I had a bunch of smashers and they came out of this west and I only had like one ramp over here and then they just tore everything up so I went ahead and put a couple rows of them so then they're not gonna do the same thing but you can see a bunch of little timeout rooms I can see through there um, this little ramp here is just so I can connect to my base to to get everything um, I got a bunch of just timeout rooms timeout rooms just kill rooms and uh, they spawn over here ceiling traps um, now with this little wood piece this is to funnel them instead of breaking that wall out or this floor out um, this will funnel them up to where they can walk in here easy. <clears throat> so that is the purpose of that. And I got a bunch of traps out here. Um, I want them funneled right here. So they'll take damage. But then they'll have to walk over here which will be slow. And then they'll get knocked back to damaging traps. Then they'll have to come back. And it's just gonna be a slow, just eat them up trap city right here. Um, especially with the smashers. Uh, this one, they hit me hard. And that's, 
I over prepared but I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared I have traps here um, I have had stuff try to break out that wall so I just put some traps up there and then um, they'll get knocked back or knocked over here to this little kill room I've had them come up here um, everywhere there's traps I have had them actually be there <clears throat> some people will use this one for like a funnel and i left the actual openings for the ramps um i just wanted a bunch of ceiling traps a bunch of floor traps um i could put a couple darts over here i think the last time they actually got wore out um so that's the whole whole thing there so i'll just throw those back up um this is a new addition i don't remember when i did it i think it was during the last fight um some of it was building on the fly because i didn't know exactly where they were going to come from and stuff and uh, they might have spawned up there and came down and that's why i did all this and then they were spawned over there on that opposite side too but there's a bunch of just kill traps and these tires they actually will activate when they're like right here when you have a bunch of mobs and they're falling down they do activate and they do drop all the way down so yeah three tiles no you can do it a lot higher than that anyways down to amplifier D um, I have this area covered I haven't had them spawn much here but they have and I was always under prepared on this side now I have over prepared because you can get out a little bit further and it's not going to be so hard <laughs> um, either way they come and then all of these little tunnels here they are trapped up I have a place to put my base um, and basically they're gonna get ate up anywhere they go uh, if they come over here that was supposed to be a wall launcher <clears throat> and it got wore out as you can tell um, I th think one of these actually I had blocked off because the, the traps wore out and I just blocked it off just so they couldn't get close um, hmm I think I'll just put a dark trap okay. there as you can see I can't place any more structures but I have been putting a couple traps down here and there I know some of them are gonna wear out um, I'm not too worried about it I'm going to be shooting um, after this reroll. I did a, a couple different things on my Siege Breaker. It used to have fire, it now has energy. Um, and it, it, I'll show you the rolls on it in just a second. Uh, I think that's all the amplifiers that I needed to cover. Um, pretty much. It's a bunch of material that. It took me a little while to get all that. See uh, those retractable, they're 93. Okay, so they did use the tier 4 material, the sleek. Um, and this aspect right there is just to block them so they can't go around. Um, but I think that should be everything I needed to show you trap wise. Um, I hope this is going to go well. If it doesn't, then um, it's subject to change. <laughs> but this is how it looks before it. Um, I have extra traps like down on the, the ground floor, just knocks and, and spike traps. But um, I did have some husks trying to break these out. As you can see, there's some uses off of these. Um, but the last time I didn't try to shoot, 
And when I had my defender up there, I didn't even give him a weapon. I just had him up there just so it would attract him to this tunnel. Um, which that's not that bad of an ideal. Um, I could do that again. Um, but the only problem is if there's propane, then they will see him and they will, will throw it. And I don't want that. So, um, anyways, I think this is one of the best setups I've ever done here. Um, if they make it up here, which that's a lot of damage coming through there. I mean, you got darts, dinos. Um, you don't think these spike traps do a lot of damage, but they slow them down enough where some of these traps might hit them twice. Like the wall darts, they have like a five second reload and they could hit them twice or arming time or whatever. <clears throat> let's just check uh 5.3 the dinos or mine aren't didn't get any reload on them so i'm waiting to get the the reperk stuff to get some reload on them but i do have the heavy base constructor which helps out um ceiling traps those are good um most of everything i got is pretty decent um, let me go show you the siege breaker. This is before I upgraded. You can see the energy up to 20, uh, legendary form. This is what I have now. Um, I think this is going to be better. I want to change, um, that damage maybe to crit damage, but I might leave it like that, um, just because the extra damage is nice the DPS 39,000 um, compared to a rocket launcher at 31 that's pretty good that they're both at 106 I haven't really upgraded my rocket launcher well my bazooka um, I did do some re-rolling on my Hydra uh, I haven't really messed with the stats on it so much yet um, but I have this Nocturno also. The DPS you can see is lower than the the Siege Breaker. The reload, all that stuff. It's okay now. It's not bad. But if you look at the damage and the headshots and the crit hit and 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 all that, the actual Siege Breaker beats it. You got 3,071 damage you got three it's 600 more but um, you got more impact um, both of them pretty much are basically around the same thing um, I have the noble launcher I'm not probably going to use it because um, I don't think I'm shooting through walls if they get close I'm going to see them so I'm going to be using uh, some bazookas if I have to make more I got uh, plenty of material to make more uh, Matter of fact, I'm gonna get some more blast powder made um, I got plenty of material to make more but trap wise I don't really have much Left, but I have quite a few traps actually already made so uh, a lot of materials to make it so, not a big issue there. Um, so, I do have a sword. Probably ain't going to be using it, even if we have flingers. Um, I don't think I'm going to worry about them. Just more of the stuff that's going to actually do damage. I just want to get through this one. Um, I might struggle. I might not. Uh, really, I don't really know. Um, I have pretty much everything set up where I want it um, and that's basically it now I what's nice about this is if they make it up here both sides will do the same thing and um, this is only only way that they attack you from on this one the other ones they attack you from everywhere 
And remember the bridge that goes across there? I knocked mine out. Um, I had a different design that I was doing the last time. But they do spawn over there. I did forget to show you. And how I set that up is I let them just drop down. And they're going to get slowed down and take damage all the way up. And like I said, I'm going to be here by the amplifiers. If anything gets close, I'm the last resort. Traps are going to do most of the, the, the damage and killing the, the husk. Um, I'm last resort. If they get close, they're just going to die. So, but that's this video. Um, the next video, I will actually be running this and uh, not showing anything but pretty much Sorry. the gameplay. So thanks for watching and um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, um, and uh, that's about it. We'll catch you in the next video.